Our top story this morning, new overnight, a deadly shooting after a concealed carry license holder opens fire on someone opening fire on him. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rulin' about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Yo, what's good, man? This your boy Smoke Tails. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you got it on you because I got it on me. You know how we getting down on this end. Self-defense used in shooting death for John Bartram, owner of Jericho Home Improvements. No charges will be filed against the man who shot and killed John Bartram, the owner of Jericho Home Improvements. Jackson County prosecuting attorney Gene Peters Baker said Friday. Peters Baker said, that after reviewing the case, her office found that the unidentified man who killed Bartram was acting in self-defense. The killing happened just before midnight on January 7th at Northeast 63rd Street and Prospect Avenue. Officers responded to the scene and found Bartram dead in the parking lot of a business in the area. Investigators found the man who shot Bartram. After the pair were involved in the struggle, Bartram allegedly tried to pull the man from his vehicle. The relationship between the two wasn't immediately clear, and there isn't any clarification on what led up to the violence. Evidence showed that the man who shot Bartram fired a handgun after Bartram struggled with the man and Bartram tried to pull the man from his vehicle. Jackson County prosecutors came to this legal conclusion. A release from the Jackson County Prosecutor's Attorney Office said, Bartram owned Jericho Home Improvements, which is located in Kansas City. I don't know what was going on with Bartram. He, got, he owned a company. He paid. He had the gas station arguing with dudes. That shit there can get you clapped. And that's where we begin tonight. Good evening, everyone. I am Bria Berry. The Jackson County Prosecutor says there will be no charges in the shooting death of John Bartram. He's the founder of Jericho Home Improvements. KMBC 9's Peyton Headley is live outside the courthouse downtown after talking with his sister. Peyton. And she says they're disappointed in how the case has been handled. She said she wants to see the evidence so they can have clarity and closure. If you're ready to remodel your kitchen or bathroom, now is the time to call Jericho. To Kansas City, John Bartram was the man behind Jericho Home Improvements. Have you ever heard of those remodeling horror stories? To his family, he was a hardworking big brother. He's just always the guy we looked up to. Now, his sister Nora Schwartz says they're left trying to figure out why he died. He's a family guy. He loved his children to death, and he would just be devastated that he is not going to be there to walk his sweet girls down the aisle and to take care of a son. Bartram was shot and killed at a BP gas station on 63rd and Prospect in January. Friday, Jackson County Prosecutor Gene Peters Baker announced there will be no charges in his death, citing a case of self-defense. Her office says evidence shows Bartram struggled with the man who shot him and tried to pull him from his car. A lot of us just simply don't have answers because we don't know the depth of it. Criminal defense attorney Gregory Watt has no connection to the case, but says everyone has a right to protect themselves. It's a question of whether or not it's justified. What were those circumstances that placed that man who used lethal force against this other individual. Schwartz says what little they know about the case is out of character for their big brother. We want to see the video. We want to see some actual evidence of what happened. John was not an aggressive person. He was the complete opposite. He had so much more to give to this world that we'll never see. As for why he was at that gas station at 63rd and Prospect just after midnight, his sister says his car had about 38 miles till empty and that it wasn't unusual for him to be out late. She said he had always been a night owl. Live in Kansas City, Peyton Headley, KNBC 9 News. All right, Peyton, thank you. We reached out to the prosecutor's office looking for a response to that statement from the family, and we are waiting to hear back. Yeah, man, so you see how they getting down out there in Kansas City. Bartram ran up on the man, tried to pull the man out of his car. The man pulled the pistol and shot him. You can't go around here just putting your hands on people, man. Everybody ain't having that shit you putting your hands all on. Everybody has the right to protect themselves. 
sometimes you got to control your temper because you never know who you run up on, especially at the gas station. I hate the gas station. I'm in and out whenever I'm there. A lot of fuck shit happen there. No ego battles, man. Sometimes you got to learn how to control your temper. Don't put yourself in these type of situations, right? They say don't go stupid places at stupid times with stupid people. Bartram tried to snatch that man up out of his vehicle, man. Somebody should have told him shit real in the field. Man, this your boy Smoke Tales, man. Until next time, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, 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 you never catch me without mine.